Hey, what is up you guys? It's your girl Margo here back again with another video and today I'm going to be doing a Cooking with Margo college edition. Um, this should be fun because I have no idea what I'm doing but over the past few days I've been testing out the recipes in the microwave and I hope that, um, well I hope it works. So let's get to it. So first things first, in college, it's very difficult when you don't have clean dishes and you have to wash everything. So I'm going to be showing you guys my process on how I clean the dishes in college. Cool. Okay, so I put away the dishes. Now, I'm going to figure out what I want to make. Do I want to make ramen? Do I want to make Greek penne? Do I want to make um, fried rice? I think I'm going to make ramen today because I feel like that's a generic thing that all college students want to make. So, we're going to do that today. Okay friends, so first things first, you gotta get your ramen. Personally, I like the top ramen brand. I don't like the styrofoam cups. Um, so I always get this brand because at least, you know, you can recycle whatever else. Okay, so you're gonna take the ramen out of the package. I like to break it up, so you're gonna see me do that in a minute. Uh, you remove the little sauce package and you get like a microwavable cup. I'm using a mug that's a giant mug and I fill it with water. Um, you want to heat the water first so that it's kind of cooking when you put the pasta in or the ramen noodles in. Um, so that's what I'm doing here and I will catch up with you once that is done. Okay, so you're gonna put this mug of water into the microwave for about one minute and 30 seconds. Um, sometimes you can put it in for two. I put it in for two minutes because it's easier and it cooks more and then the water's already hot when you put the pasta in and whatever, so. All right, now we're just gonna wait. So in the meantime, I am actually going to chop up some carrots and celery. Um, this is a really good way to make your unhealthy ramen just a little bit healthier. Um, I just got this stuff from a local um, Hannaford store. Um, I got the carrots already pre-chopped and just put them into a plastic container. And then I put, um, I chopped up the celery, I meal prepped it, so to speak. So. Um, that it would be in small slices that I can just take out and slice up and put into my ramen. So um, I'm gonna do that. I'm just slicing the celery into like really thin strips. So you can kind of see a little bit what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of going from one side to the other and just chopping it. Um, I like it to be thin so that it's kind of matching up with the texture of the noodles. Um, so yeah, that's just what I'm doing here.
so I'm just gonna take out the mug for a minute um, after the two minutes and I'm going to put the pasta in once I see it doesn't fit so I have to kind of crush it up a little bit. I usually break it in half and then break it in half four more times um, and then I just put the rest of the the noodles that fell into the cup. I don't put in the veggies yet because I f the pasta needs to cook a little bit first so you'll see in a minute. I'm gonna put this in for about four minutes and then so here because I don't have a full carrot I have pre-chopped carrots all I really have to do is take the carrots out and put them on the plate so that's what I'm gonna be doing here um, I usually put in two handfuls or so um, depending on how much I want to eat so you can also <laughs> increase the portion size um, depending on what you want so um, then I just try to chop some of the carrots in half because they're strips so I want them to be in smaller chunks so I'm just kind of randomly chopping them into little tiny pieces it's not very satisfying but it's food so what do you want <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, the pasta is almost done cooking, um, so I'm just taking it out of the microwave, and I'm going to add in the veggies. You can see it's kind of half cooked, but it's not fully cooked yet, so um, usually I dump some of the water out, but because there's veggies, I didn't this time. That would later go to bite me in the butt, but whatever. Here's me trying to show you the veggies. Um, so I'm gonna put the veggies into the mug now and I'm going to put the mug back into the microwave for another four minutes. You can do three minutes too, but I like mine to be cooked a little bit more, so that's what I did. Okay, so here's the finished product. Um, it did overflow a little bit, so it's probably better to dump some of the water out, but um, the noodles are fully cooked and you just gotta break them apart a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna strain it and then I'm gonna put it into a different bowl. So after you strain it and put it into a bowl of your choice, then you can add the seasoning. Um, sometimes I like to make the seasoning from scratch using chicken broth. Um, and soy sauce, but it tastes the same, um, but I don't have soy sauce or chicken broth right now, so um, this is perfect. Um, it is a little bit less healthy than you might want it to be, but um, yeah, it still tastes great and it's a good meal to have when you're studying or whatever else, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I post every Tuesday, hopefully, so I hope you'll watch some more of my content. See you next time. Bye!